I'm not sure if I mentioned this yet or ever made this clear, but I'm not the football player you think I am. This is not his story. This is my story. I mean, I respect that dude, you know, but he didn't get a chance to prove himself on the field, really. I mean, there is no question that he opened a new door to professional football. Thanks to him, guys might be able to just be themselves. Where I am right now, I just want to prove myself as a player, just like everybody else. And if I'm remembered at all on the field, I don't want an asterisk next to my name. I just want to be remembered as great. Excuse me. 
You have an appointment? Yeah. What time was it for? At uh, nine. Pencil right there. Return these papers when you are ready. Have a seat. We'll call you in a minute. Kendra Day? Lexi Thompson here? Uh, yeah. Okay, 111. Go ahead, have a seat. And when was the first day of your last period? I don't know, sometime around the fourth or fifth of last month. And have you ever been pregnant before? No. So this is your first abortion? Yeah. Have you eaten in the last 12 hours? No. And no known allergies to medicines, right? No. Go ahead and lie down for me. Go ahead, lift your shirt up. It's a bit a little chilly, okay? Hey, so you are about five weeks pregnant. You can sit up now. All right, I think we're good to go. Just need one last thing, the name and number of the person who's gonna pick you up. Um, what do you mean? Who's coming to pick you up? I don't remember them saying I needed someone to come pick me up. Well, we can't continue with this procedure unless there's someone designated to pick you up after. Is there someone you can call? Can I just take a taxi? We're at liability if you leave this office under the influence of anesthesia and drive. There needs to be someone who's responsible for you after you leave this office. Look, today is the only day I can do this. Is there any way you can make an exception? No, sorry. It's the law. We have to abide by it. Please? 
Please. There is one other option. You can choose to do this procedure without medicine. Guidelines state we only have to watch you for 20 minutes afterwards, but then you can just leave. So no medicine at all? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do it. We do realize that this procedure can be very painful depending on your level of tolerance, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Follow me. This is Nurse Clara. She'll take it from here. Thanks, honey. Lexi? Hi, how you doing? Okay, uh, why don't you put your things down, hon, and go ahead and have a seat. Um, how long is this gonna last? The whole time you're gonna be here, or the actual procedure? The procedure. Um, it's gonna take about a minute. Go ahead and put this on your bottom part. Leave the top half on. Go ahead and lay back. The doctor will be in in just a minute, okay? Try and relax. Okay. How bad is the pain? It's gonna hurt. You're gonna have some severe cramping. But it's only gonna last for about a minute. Hey, hey. I need you to breathe for me, okay? Big, deep breaths. Mm -hmm. I'll be back in a minute. Hello, Lexi. Dr. Felicia Jones, I'll be doing the procedure today. Did Nurse Clara and Nurse Jen explain everything okay for you? Okay. Do you have any questions for me before we proceed? I need you to go on your back. Just try to relax. Okay. I need you to spread all the way. A little more, please. Okay. I'm going to insert the speculum. Shouldn't hurt. Just a little discomfort. Now I'm cleaning. I need you to cough. <coughs> Again. Now I'm going to dilate the cervix. You're going to feel some cramping. Mm -hmm. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. Nurse Clara tells me you opted out of anesthesia. Would you like her to hold your hand for you during mm -hmm. the procedure? Okay.
Okay. 